last time I do these dishes, he can either get a maid, honey, or he can find somebody else. I am an international judge sudden star, and I don't do dishes. No, sir. <sighs> God, it wore me up. Oh, boy, please. It's aging me like I can't have to leave if these people are going to have to do such a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Tiffany. I would like to speak to Jerry, please. Oh, Gary. I'm yeah, Gary. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Hi. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well, what about the news people? Did you get that set up? Yeah. You did. Uh, well, did the pink gels come in? Oh. Well, no. Well, I I decided I want blue instead. Well, you put the pink and blue together, my kind of purple hazy. It looked very good. Yeah. Oh, you did? Well, okay. No, well, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll be in soon. Well, it sounds like you have everything taken care of, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I just had a very busy morning. I just had a very busy morning, and uh, I won't be there until uh, later. I'll try. <laughs> Try to hold down the fort till I get there. Oh, oh, by the way, I want a massage today at 4 o'clock. Call Olga and see if she Oh, you did? Well, okay. Good, yes. I'll see you when I get there, darling. Bye. Just wait until I'm gone for five days. They'll think somebody can't get along without me, sweetheart. Oh, maybe I need to have my hair done. Speaking of hair, maybe this is a little cute little multi-haired lady that's always coming over here. I will find out. <sighs> Howdy. Oh, Colton, hi. Doing? Come here, come here, come here. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, hi. Hi, how what's you doing? up? Oh, uh, uh where, let me tell you. Come over here, sit down. Where's Sean? Sean's not here right now. I am going away. Yeah? For five days on a Caribbean cruise. And guess who's going with me? Um, Cheryl. No, 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 think romance, romance, romance. Mm. It's the big log. He's going with me. Can you believe it? Sean? Of course, Sean. <gasps> it was his idea. I actually can't stand to be away from me. That's what he said. But I had to let you know, while I'm out sunning and funning, you're going to be doing the show all by yourself, and I'm not going to be there this week. You're going to miss the show? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm well, sorry. it won't be the same without you. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you to say. <laughs> but listen, I've got a great idea. Actually, it was Sean's idea, so I have to tell you this. What? You oh. mean about the cruise? No, 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 no. The... This, 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 I'm trying right. to build a suspense, right. Colton. Right. Okay, now when I get back, we are going to tape some of your shows back to back just so we'll have them in case of an emergency. Isn't that a good idea? Just mm. like the time, you know, when you left and uh, oh, yeah. just before we were supposed to do the show. In fact, you never tell me where you went. Where'd you go? What happened? Well, I had to... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get it. Oh. Why don't you just let the machine pick it up? Who on the machine? Sean Donnelly's residence. So who are you, the resident answering machine? Ooh, you bet your sweet memory I am, sweetheart. Where are you? Why are you calling Sean? Are you planning on getting out of this cruise? Is that it? Honey, I am not getting out of the cruise. Good, because I've already told Colton that we're going. Why'd you talk to him? Well, I talked to you just a minute ago because he's sitting right here. Oh, good. Uh, could I speak with him, please? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Have a good day, okay? Um, uh, Sean wants to talk to you. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Hi, Sean. Colton, watch what you say. I don't want Tiffany to know what we're talking about. Okay. I'm in Washington. You are? What? Tiffany just told me you were going on a cruise. I am, but I'm going to mix a little pleasure with business. You know what I mean. Well, no, actually, I don't, but go ahead. <laughs> I'll explain later. Uh, I'm going to go over to CNL Bell's office after I hang up with you. I'll try to get a fix on him. Great. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Look, tell Tiffany I'll see her either late tonight or first thing in the morning. Okay. And, and I'll be talking to you before I leave. All right, great. Take care. Uh, how's Felicia doing? Oh, she's fine. Uh, we did have a visitor earlier. Colette? Uh-huh. She was pumping you two guys for information, right? You got it. Say, uh, by the way, did you take care of the uh, box? What do you think? Okay. And by the way, if you want that thing to play, you just need to wind it up, you know, on the bottom there. I know. I will. I'll talk okay. to you later. All right. Bye. What was that all about? He asked me to tell you 
that he was going to be seeing you either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Late tonight or early tomorrow morning. If he tries to get out of this cruise, I tell you, I'm going to take every one of his limbs and break them into and have them bronzed. I'm, I'm really sorry, Alan. I, I have just been so preoccupied trying to get better insurance coverage for the daycare center lately. I appreciate your concern, and I think you're doing an excellent job, Lucy. But, uh, please don't take advantage. What do you mean? There are plenty of nurses in the hospital. If Jessie tells you that she's shorthanded, please don't insist on Joanne going to the daycare center. Just go to another floor for another nurse. That's well, all. the reason I did that is because Joanne is the best, and I've been away a lot, you know, out of the hospital doing the Arts Festival Committee um, business. You're actually working outside on the Arts Festival? Well, yes, um, but I, I feel that it's helping the city also, my work. But the hospital comes first, Lucy. Please come in. Ah, oh, Lucy, I'm... Oh, Alan, thank you so much for taking care of that little problem for me. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my job, just the same way that supervising the student nurses is your job. Not organizing the arts festival. Oh, well, I am sorry, but the uh, festival will be over in a few weeks. Yeah, and, um, who's going to be handling the problems for the next few weeks, then? I will be handling my problems and the festival, as I have done so in the past. Audrey, if you want to work on the festival, do it from here. Are you saying that I cannot leave the hospital? Please, not during working hours. I'll tell you what, I have some vacation time coming, so I will take it starting now. You can't do that either. You have to make a request two weeks in advance. Is that so? Well, then you're just going to have to find someone else to lord it over because I resign. By the way, Lucy, if you want to keep working on the arts festival, that's fine, but please do it from inside the hospital, okay? What goes for Audrey goes for you, too. I don't think Steve is going to be too happy about this. Thank you so much for helping us, Louise. It's been Thank my you. pleasure. It's going to be a wonderful event. See you guys later. We'll be talking to you then. All right. Bye, Tom. Bye, Louise. Bye, Bye. 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 Well, just think, before you know it, we'll be halfway through the Barge Festival. We wouldn't even be participating if it weren't for you. Uh, us. Yes, us. You know what? what? When you first got here, I would have deeply resented your saying that. <laughs> and now I kind of like it. Well, good. It's, it's nice to know that you're doing better. Things are looking up. Now all we have to do is find a nice guy. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Did you find anything in that box you could use, huh? Yes. You know, I saw a couple of really neat things. Some big things. I am not going to take it anymore. Sure. should have been here earlier. Mrs. Hardy was here, and she loved all the work that we've been doing. She thinks we're going to be a real hit at the art festival. Great. So, um, what are you going to do? Do you draw or anything? Yeah, flies. Come on. <laughs> you got to do something. Okay, maybe I'll sell refreshments or take tickets. Look, why don't you quit putting yourself down? I mean, why don't you sing? Because I sound like a frog. <laughs> Look, I bet you don't sound like a frog. Come on, try. Yes, I do. Look, there's nobody around, and besides, nobody's going to pay much attention anyways. No, Terry's really good. I'm really bad. Hey, do you think she was that great when she started? Come on. Okay. Well, I guess that about does it. I would say, except... Except what? Well, um... There is one thing I would like to do. Name it. Make dinner for you at my place. When? Tonight. Will you come? Of course. Good. You better be fine. I'll be there then. Okay, goodbye. Uh, Where have you been? Me? Oh, um, here and there. Nowhere in particular. Why are you being so mysterious? Oh, well, I'm not trying to be. Well, you are. 
I just called the beauty parlor and made an appointment to have my hair fixed. Oh, well, okay, but I keep trying to tell you I know, you, you keep telling me fibs to make me feel better. Well, that's true. Guess what? What? Sean has gone to Washington. I just talked to him on the phone. He's tracking down C.N. Bell's office. Oh, good. I hope he finds the man and gets him to admit that he's Mr. LeBlanc. If anybody can do it, Sean can. I know. Well, I have to go. Oh, sorry. Felicia. What? I mean, you're really, you're really going to do it. You're going to the hairdresser. Yes. I mean, it just, I like it so much the way it is. Well, I think it looks awful. I'm going to go. Okay. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Elbell, please. Oh, I'm sorry. He's out of town. Oh, well, could you contact him and tell him that Mr. Sean Donnelly would like to see him? Certainly. Oh, where can Mr. Elbell reach you? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't uh, I call in and Mr. Elbell can tell me where and when I should meet him? Well, Mr. Elbell rarely comes into the office. Well, you so... tell him that I have one of his very best custom-made music boxes from Quebec. And, uh... The cassette of the music the box plays. No, no, I'll keep the box. You just give him the cassette. And I'm sure when I call in that Mr. Elbell will have a message for me. And remember, the name is Donnelly. Sean Donnelly. jewels will be on display at the arts festival and uh, governors senators and congressmen will be at the festival too when it opens on july 29th mm, yes that is interesting <laughs> 